Well, greetings, beam enjoyers, and yeah, this is, well, the Linkara-inspired otaku bandito. Bringing you some special news. Today is the day. The day that we finally get BMNG Drive 0 0.31. And this day is special because a certain truck known as the Gavril T-Series, is finally getting a remaster! Yeah! And of course, they pretty much scrapped plans for the second race in the Holiday Rally Cross Championship in favor of the... the Piccolina Winter Passage Endurance Race. Uh, Piccolino the Winter Spectacular, to be more precise. So yeah, it's going to be exciting, and I'm going to to see what the new Gavril T series has to offer. So what are we waiting for? Let's hit the road already. All the other vehicles, especially the Wentworth D 
T240L had a remaster, but the Gabriel T series didn't have one until now, that is. So yeah. Notice how the license plate says Paul and because, well, it's a truck. It's supposed to haul. And yeah, it has open wheel parts now. Oh, look! It's a sleeper cab. Well, not actually a sleeper cab. It's more like a stuff. Oops. Stuff to put extra stuff in. Yeah. This truck has several different configs, and of course. Even the hood is open. Yeah, let's open the door. Yeah, and of course, it also has the enhanced interior view. Yeah, all the parts are openable. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, you can even press this button right here. Yeah, and even the air brake can interact with. So yeah, if you get two of the latches undone, you can open the hood. Look! Now the hood is openable and you can see the engine. It's full glory. Oh yeah. But that's not all though. Because I have another config in the cards. And let's take a look at it, shall we? Alrighty, look at there! Yep, that's right. The Gabriel T series now has a cab over model, and of course, because of that. I can now have it look like Optimus Prime. Yeah, hence why the license plate is Prime. And, get this, there's also another thing I have to talk about. Yeah, West Coast USA also has an expansion, and of course, now we have the newer. BMG mission markers or mission menus that don't block the entire view now. And you can now drive freely without having to be interrupted by them. But anyways, let's go to the map, set the route to logistics area. And let's go trucking. Optimus Prime style. We could do qu quick travel. I could do quick travel, but... I don't want to. I want to truck along. And yeah, notice how it's a Taste of Cola trailer. It's a reference to Pepsi Twist Optimus Prime, or Pepsi Twist Convoy, as was known. Oh, look. Autobots, transform and roll out. Sorry, that's my best Optimus Prime impression. I can't do it like, well, the epic voice guy. Look at that! 
Optimus Prime is trucking along, delivering some Pepsi Twist to logistics area. Or will be shipped to Japan. Careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Uh. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, that config that I looked at was actually a sleeper config. I haven't been around a big rig for a long time, okay? It's not my fault that not everyone in my family is a trucker. And I don't have a trucking license either. But anyways, here we go. Yep, this is logistics area. I do remember that, well, girls can drive trucks as well, I mean, I used to think that they wouldn't, but now I think they wouldn't. I mean, who knows how many, well, female truckers there aren't. Also related to Transformers, Kelly. Mario D2001 has a trucker license. So yeah, that just goes to show that women can truck too. Yeah, it's unrelated, but it's part of the whole trucker discussion. Alright, come on. Gotta go in the freaking... Just a shipping area. Yeah, as you can tell, I am not very good at trucking. Yeah, and trucking is a hard job to pull off, man. Because you have to make sure you get the thing lined up correctly. Yeah, it's actually called Shuffleboard Logistics and Distribution. I gotta at least get the Gavril T series in there. I got something else to show. Yeah, this is the logistics area. And yes, even that's openable. So yeah. This is the logistics area. It's part of the new location in this version of BeamNG Drive. Yeah, it's part of the West Coast City expansion and actually looks pretty good. It looks like a logistics area as it is. And yeah, both doors are openable on the cab over model. But anyways, 
I have to talk about another thing that I'll probably miss in this version of BMG Drive, but before I do that, here are all the configs that the newly remastered Gavril 2 series has. Yeah, TC82, T82, even has cargo uplift box configs. The only downside is that if you have any configs or mods that work work with the other well previous versions of BeamNG Drive and the pre-remastered Gavril T series, they will not be compatible with this version of the mod. That's something you have to keep in mind, okay? Unless if the modders make it compatible with this version of BeamNG Drive. But my point still stands. Yeah, they still kept the Ramplow config fix, which is cool and good. But anyways, I'm gonna talk about something else in this update. Let's go! Alrighty, so this update also adds the cargo box. Yep. Now nearly all vehicles in BeamNG Drive can have the cargo box, and in the Gabriel D series' case, it's located in the back. Yeah, as you can tell, this truck is supposed to be based on the one that Lance Loud drives in the new Loudhouse episode, Twas the, Fice, Twas the Fight Before Christmas. And this is because I'm actually planning a BeamNG Boy inspired YouTube series. Well, I got inspired by his, his stupid COVID videos to do some of my own videos, and of course, it's going to be each episode's going to be Loud House Beams. Hence why this truck is based on Lance Loud's truck in that episode, so yeah. <laughs> pretty good truck. That's a custom config that I made myself. And of course, I would usually preview some upcoming mods that I have in the works. But I also wanted to show you an example of one of the other sleeper configs, the long haul config of the Gabriel T series. So let's go. Alrighty, so here is the long haul config, and this is the custom one, which of course. Believe it or not, is based on the famous truck that you see in Mask. Yeah, it's an acronym, by the way. M A S K. Yeah, it stands for Mobile Armored Strike Command, if I remember correctly. It's a TV series from, well, an animated series from the 1980s that is made to promote toys, like a lot of them are. And yeah, even those parts are openable, but. This one is not, though. Sadly, you can't open that part. At least I don't think you can. Yeah. 
But anyways, <laughs> I do have... A couple of upcoming mods that I have to show you. Yep, that's right. The Racer Cinema Productions car, the Racer, finally gets a 3D makeover. And yeah, this is a, um, the Racer alongside the stock car that w appeared in The NASCAR title cards of one of my older videos. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been like 11 years. It's been like 10 years for those videos. Yeah, it's hard to think that Racer Cinema Productions has been around for a decade now. So yeah, the interior view of them are, well, they're not finished yet. And yeah, I... There's no dinosaur logo, so I had to substitute it for a dragon. And yeah, the rear end is from the Acura NSX. Because the racer is a mix of, of several, well, a few Japanese cars, if you remember correctly. So yeah, let's start up the racer and have it race around. <laughs> Yeah, it's a 6 liter V12. It's supposed to be two 3 liter V6s glued together. bell for the latest Racer Cinema Productions videos. And together, we can help drive the YouTube algorithm away from this channel so that I don't succumb to the fate of other smaller channels getting defeated by the